Now, just over a year ago, Mark King dropped his son off to school like he did most days, only to be called a few hours later to be told his son had died. The youngster had collapsed during a swimming race and had died from sudden arrhythmic death syndrome, also known as SADS. It's a heart condition that often has no symptoms and claims the lives of at least 12 children a week. But Oliver King's parents say a defibrillator could have improved his chances of surviving and could save lives. Today, they launched an e-petition calling for the equipment to be put in all public places. Eunice Muller reports. Just over a year ago, Oliver King from Liverpool died suddenly during a swimming lesson at his school. It was from a heart condition few of us may have heard of, but one that can be detected. His parents are finding it difficult to cope without him, but are focusing on a campaign to save lives. He was courteous, he was well-mannered, he was perfect. People used to call him a ripple because if they met him, he just touched so many people. Um, and this is why we're striving. I can't sit back and let another family go through this devastation that we are still going through now. The 12-year-old died from sudden arithmetic death syndrome, which is caused by heart rhythm abnormalities. Today, an e-petition was launched at his school calling for the introduction of screening to detect the condition and also for all public places to have life-saving defibrillators by 2017. If someone fainted outside of a school, you know you can rely on going in there and getting a first aid kit, getting a glass of water. And I look forward to the future when you can rely on going into a school, going into a sports centre, a library, and next to the first aid box, you've got a defibrillator. Healthy youngsters are particularly vulnerable, but it can affect anyone. Well, we want the government to look very seriously at this and, and we're trying to raise the profile of, of uh, the case of Oliver, but it's not just Oliver, it's 12, 12 people every week that lose their life to SADS and other similar uh, diseases. Oliver's parents have a memory wall in their house to their son. If they achieve their aims, that will be his legacy. Eunice Muller, BBC Northwest Tonight, Liverpool.